The first part of prototyping a product is to get the design final through sketch work and computer-aided design to ensure that the basics of the concept are being fleshed out before you engage in prototyping, which is more expensive. And when we get into prototyping, we're using the computer-aided design models often to 3D print components and parts that we can then use to assemble and test the key functionality of the product. Also during prototyping, you may well be sourcing external components such as motors, batteries, maybe some printed circuit boards. And all of that then is obviously being assembled into the prototype. Once you've invested in a prototype, there's other things that can be done with it, such as testing with your target market and gaining feedback. Also potentially talking to manufacturers to get their feedback on manufacturing processes and whether there may be more cost-effective ways of designing for production. Investors are often very keen to see prototypes and again all of their feedback needs to be taken into account. As you refine and iterate the design you'll probably go through two to three prototypes on a relatively simple product, maybe four to five on a more complex product before you've ironed out all the issues, got to a point where it's very cost effective and quick to assemble. And at that point, then you can look to move into production. Injection mold tools are often needed, jigs for assembly, and all of that's very costly. So you really want to make sure that you've got everything right through the prototyping process before you start manufacturing. If you'd like to know more about the services we offer, subscribe to our channel today.